Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. I think it's the 28th of January. January is almost gone. We can put it in the books in just a couple more days. I've got a few pieces to show you this morning. Welcome to the start of your work week, or if you're like me, it's just a continuation of the week that you're in. Um, going to start off with these spoons. Will Ward sent these spoons in to me. And I did not paint them. It's just a seal job, and yes, I do that. Um, it's very reasonable for things like this. Um, it's just five dollars per lure if you want to reseal, which is not bad at all. It's a KBS dip, and these are just coming. I actually had to clear coat one again uh, a second time because I had just a little bit of peeling on that, and I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. But um, love these patterns, and I can't wait to see what he's going to catch with these. But there's six of these, um, and again, it's good little pattern he's got on here and I'll show you what I mean so you have to keep the drip wires really loose I don't know if the camera's picking this up at all um, they're well, sort of maybe not really um, I'll do this so that you guys can see that there's something on there um, you have to keep the drip wires really loose on it and you kind of have to twist them when, when you're pulling them off because it's a very thin sheet that goes on these. So there was one that I had just a little bit of peeling and that I wouldn't say it's commonplace for that to happen but um, what can happen is if there were a little bit of oil or some sort of residual on these when they went into clear coat so I pulled these right out of the package that I was sent and put them into the clear coat. You really can't, you don't want to wipe down something that's brand new painted um, so I just I dipped them as it was. So there was only one that we had to reseal, and that was this one. And it came out very, very good. So there you have it. Spoons, reseals, five bucks a lure, not bad. I've got some that are going into clear coat and some that are coming out of clear coat. These, Super happy with these. These are wiggle warts. These are dingers. There we go. This is that uh, Mad Tiger Clown pattern. And yes, everybody's been asking me, is this going to the website? Yes, this pattern is going to be on the website. It's going to be on the website. Um, I'm going to probably put it on in square bills and wiggle warts, but. Um, you guys are going to have the opportunity, if you want this pattern on something else that's a hard bait, I will be more than happy to put it on. And then uh, just bring up that the other. I did these in two very similar patterns with just some slight variation on them. Get this up under the light so you guys can see it. Love the clown patterns. Sassy gills, sassy gills, sassy gills. Got a few of those going out this morning. And just to give you guys, because um, I get asked this, and I, I sometimes I put it on the website, but not all the time. Um, Pre-tournament season is one of the busiest times of the year for all of us. So the run time on your order has a tendency to vary. Um, I'm running anywhere between 20 and 30 orders right now. Um, the board is full over there, so just please bear with us. My, my normal run time is 14 days. Sometimes it'll lag a little bit, so we're running anywhere between 14 and 20 days on a turnaround time for your orders. So just to let you know, I will put that up on the website at uh, jekyllbaits.com. But thanks for having patience. And that's something that you guys should know. A lot of times they think that um, that the custom painters will have stock of something. And that's normally not the case with small businesses. Um, once you get up into production, if you have something that you're selling constantly. But usually with small businesses, these types of things are made spec to order. So we don't keep a multitude of, of excess laying around because the blanks are used to fill orders. So just something that might be a little bit different than say if you're ordering from a tackle warehouse. Uh, we make every effort to, to expedite everybody's order. Uh, and I, I spray them as fast as I can, but I wanna make sure that you guys get the quality product that you're looking for and not just something that's kind of half done. 
for for lack of a, a better term. So I, I don't want to you know say anything that would be offensive. It's Monday morning, um, but yeah, you, you want the quality, and I promise you that, that that's what you're going to get when you get stuff from from this company. So. But anyways, back to the sassy gills. And I, and I think that's important to say because I think there are some misconceptions that we can just fill it and send it right back out. We do have to spray the orders. And the orders are sprayed in the exact time and date that they're, that they're um, requested. So if I get an order in for a specific bait and it comes in at, say, 8 o'clock in the morning and then I get another one off the website at 10, I'm spraying the one at 8 o'clock in the morning first. Um, and that, that's pretty much the way that it goes. Um, if I have somebody that's ordering over a period of a few weeks in with an existing order, I'm going to have to mix that in with the orders that are coming in as they are. So that's why, you know, some orders could be delayed just a little bit if you keep adding on to your order. So we get them out as fast as we can. I promise you it's going to be the quality product that you're looking for. And uh, the fish still can't help themselves. I love these sassy gills. And I appreciate you bearing with me. And I think maybe some sometimes folks don't understand that it's not like a fill order like a tackle warehouse. It is a spray to order. And it's in the order that the orders come in. And preseason, pre-tournament season is crazy. Holidays are a little crazy. Preseason is super crazy. So I just want to thank you guys for your patience and your understanding that the turnaround time might be a little bit longer. These are a lot of fun to spray. There's a few of them. Julie, these, uh, the two that you ordered are coming your way. Just so you know. These are going to be dressed up and shipped out. And this time of year, because the, the temperatures are a little bit cooler, also recognize that the, that the curing process, since I don't use the uh, Alumilite, the UV coating clearing process, um, the, the clearing procedure takes a little bit longer as well because I want to make sure that this, this clear coat is rock hard and good to go when you guys get it to fish it. Got an order for another rat runner. Love doing these things. This is the red-eyed rat runner. And uh, it's going to be complete with a tail a little bit later on this morning and shipped out. And then we've got the Slasher series. in blue, red, and yellow. I'm also gonna add this to the website as well. Um, these seem to be catching fish at a pretty pretty good rate. Got a few of them out and about testing. So one of the things that, um, that I pride myself on is usually a pattern is not gonna go on the website unless it's been proven in the water. Um, unless I get a huge demand for it but usually patterns, you know, like the rat runners, they're, they're proven anyways. So that went on almost immediately. Um, this is cool. This is, this is going to be tested. I have, a, this is on a pre-foiled bait, um, and it's in the slasher series, but I'm going to test this little guy out this coming week. If I get a chance to get out of the shop for a couple of minutes, um, just a, a basic black slasher on a dark, deep indigo blue with just a little bit of purple up top and uh, black and red on the bottom. And then the other slashers in red, yellow, and blue. These are for a customer, part of an existing order. And that's the news that's fit to print this morning. These little guys are getting ready to get dipped and uh, I hope they catch lots and lots of fish for my customer as do they all. You guys have a fantastic morning. I appreciate you hanging out with me for a little bit. It's always good company. Enjoy your week. Think spring. It'll be here before you know it. You guys will be on your boats and sit and sight fishing in front of the beds. So hang in there. Winter's not too far from being gone. <laughs>